Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video session, I will solve IGCSC Cambridge Paper 2 Problem Solving and Programming. The paper code is 0478. This is October November 2021. And I hope you have read all the scenario and now we will start the task one. Now this is the task one. In task one number one, write a program to set up arrays to record the following. Codes and prices for each of the three stages. What are the three stages? These are the three stages. This is stage number one. Stage number two and this is stage number three passengers account that include a unique passenger account number and name and number three is booking at the unique passenger account number and a start time of the journey a code for the each of the stage of the journey and a unique booking number for the journey okay store the data for the code and price for each stage actually in in this video in this video session i will show you the pseudo code but in the next video i will implement this code into the vb or python okay but i will do it both task number one what we will do in task number one first of all i will declare of declaration of six arrays as mentioned in the scenario number two generate a unique passenger code and name in the passenger account subroutine create a function that will ensure that passenger code is unique code number four create a subroutine to get the start time of the journey information about three stages unique passenger code name and unique booking number fifth is calculate the cost of all three stages number six is concatenation all these information and stored into a booking information array now if i will open to this task number one i have declared six arrays what's the name of the, this arrays name is home to start station home to start station code i have given a code if i will open the scenario this is home to start code i have written home to start code this is one array first array with the name of code second array with the name of price second name with the name of price code and price two arrays and again start station to end station and these are the two arrays code and price in dollar this is the start station okay start station and this is a start station code array and this is the start station of the price array and the next is end station to the destination and i have create a code and price this is code array and this is the price array this is the code array and price array i have given the price price and code c1 c2 c3 c4 c5 i have initialized this array this is the code and these are the prices okay this is the code m1 m2 m3 4 5 and this is the prices and same way i have declared six arrays next i have declared index integer equal to zero and declare passenger info this is another array data type is string and declare booking information and this is also another array and type is string this is the routine this is a subroutine of passenger account here i am getting two parameters one is array passenger info data type is string and other one is the index that is integer and here i have apply a loop the purpose of this loop is pass underscore account underscore information passenger account number enter the account number okay whatever passenger will enter the value that will store into variable pass underscore account number after this what i am doing i will check this information by using this function this is a function okay is existed pass underscore account number first of all it, it will check what information you are going to be entered into the passenger account number that passenger account number is stored already or not okay this will give information in, in terms Terms of a true or false if already is there then it will return false if this is unique code then it will return true and this loop will move until checking equal to true it means by using this line number 11 to line number 14 it will give you the unique code unique passenger number this is passenger account subroutine i have passed two parameters one is passenger information another one is the index and in the loop i am i have applied i have applied a loop repeat until checking equal to true first of all on line number 12 i am asking from the user to enter the account number and this account number will store into the pass underscore account number after this it will check is existed is existed in other function okay this is is existed function this is is existed function the purpose of this existed function it will check whether this entry already has been stored into the name of into the uh, passenger account number or not if this passenger account number is already issued to someone else then it will give you false okay now checking equal to is existed pass underscore account number it will give you only true or false okay and this function will repeat until checking equal to true and in 
in case of true this is unique value and then pass underscore name equal to input enter the name and after this the purpose of this asterisk is used to the separation between account number this is account number and this is passenger information i have concatenated these two values into passenger information or index now on same index mean to these two values will lie on the same index because i have concatenated these two values pass underscore account number and pass name from line number 18 to 24 the purpose of this existed fun function is existed function it will check whether the entered account number is existed in the array or database if it is existed then it will return false in case of false it will ask again from the user to enter the new value if pass account in passenger information this is passenger information that is array that contains the, all the information about passenger information then print account number is already existed if it will find if pass account is in the passenger list it will shows me account number is already existed and return false in case of false it, it will ask again to enter the value from the user else return true in case of true it means this is this is a unique value the purpose of this function is unique passenger number okay the purpose of this line number 18 to 24 is to give me unique passenger number next is declare booking this is a subroutine this is a subroutine containing two parameters one is booking information and another one is index and here i have used a loop the purpose of this loop is to validation of the time you will enter the correct time between 0 to 23 okay and it will ask King you again again and again until you will not enter the value between 0 to 23 next one is the purpose of these lines the purpose of this line is to enter the home to start station and that will store into variable hss hss and after this hss must be between c1 maybe c2 c3 c4 and c5 it should be between from c1 to c5 okay because my values are between c1 c2 c3 and c4 c5 if you will enter something else it will not accept this is purpose of this validation of the code validation of code next one is this is also validation of the code and it will ask you enter start station to end station and will store into variable sses sses this is remove remove this one sses and sses must be m1 or m2 or m3 or m4 and m5 and same way enter the end end station to destination and usd should be f1 f2 f3 f4 f5 okay the purpose of this to validate the code code must be existed but they have given in the array and these are the code c1 c2 m1 m2 m5 f1 to f5 your code must be belongs to these entries if your code is may else something else then in the code in the array then it will ask you to enter again after this i need to calculate the price how can i calculate the price how can i calculate the price suppose if you will enter c2 if you will enter c2 then i need to calculate the price 3 if you will enter suppose m4 i need to calculate the price 34 if you will enter suppose f5 then i need to calculate the price of 80 okay first of all i need to get the index of what you have entered the value i need to index number okay index number of this because this index and this index both are same index of this price and index of this code are the same okay mean first of all what i will get i need to calculate the index of c2 m4 and f5 okay for that purpose what i have used for that purpose i need to get home station dot code i'm i'm asking to enter the code dot index index of this value and what is this that you have entered entered input here and this is enter home to start station okay it means it will give me index number okay for example they will enter index number two okay if they will index number two it will return as two is here and this will become the index of the price home underscore start underscore station price this will end this index will become of the price index and price will store into variable cost one same way i will get cost two from the end station price and this is end station code and same way i will get the destination code 
that will become the index of the price okay and in this way i will calculate the cost of first cost second cost and third cost and booking number what is booking number date and time i have used date and time okay i have used date and time for the booking number from the system date and time okay from the system date and time okay for example this is the this is my date okay that is 2107 2021 and this is the time 14 20 and this is the second okay where date is this time is this and second is this and that will store into the booking number mean this booking number will i will get from the system date and time and this is always changing not same okay i this is i am getting from the system date and time next one booking information and i will store all the information into this array this is the array booking information and this is the index which information i am going to store i want to store the information passenger account number and this asterisk this asterisk will use to separation between two fields because on one index on one location this is booking underscore information on one location i want to store all the information okay because this is the combination of different fields that's why i have concatenated them by using asterisk passenger account number asterisk passenger name start time start time and uh, home hssc that is home station start time and hhs hss and sses and esd and booking number all these values are going to be combined into one variable and that variable is going to store into the array this is end subroutine after this i will call this is called passenger account okay in that call passenger account i will pass passenger information and index number call booking booking information and index this is my task one this is complete task one okay now i am going to task two what is in task two in task two there is only validate the booking number and calculate the total cost by adding the journey of three phases this is task two i'm going to click on task two this is a task two okay that we have already studied this okay line number one to six already studies seven eight nine and what is new is here this is task number two this is task number two using the uh, use using the booking system allow passengers to open an account by generating a unique passenger account number and storing it along with their names and in the array this is i i already done this i have already done this declare passenger account passenger information index and what they will ask it will ask ask me to passenger account input the account number and it will check whether is existed if already this account number is already available then it will give me false in case of false it will ask me to again enter the value okay until checking equal to true the purpose of this line it will give me only unique number next one is passenger name input enter the name and passenger name and passenger account both are concatenated and will store into the array that is passenger information okay next one allow passengers to make a booking by first entering their unique passenger account number the start time of the journey and the code for each to each stage of their journey check if the passenger account number is already exist check if the passenger account number is already exist we did this next one is generate a unique booking number for the journey unique booking number for unique booking number this is declare a booking this is total cost from line number 24 to 25 sorry from line number 44 to 47 repeat here i am getting system date and time system date and time date and time from the system in terms of a seconds in terms of a date time and seconds booking number it will booking number but again i am checking whether this booking number is this booking number is existed or not is valid okay is valid booking number then store into the value checking and it will return me true or false in case of true it means this booking number is unique booking number and if it will return false it means uh, this unit this booking number is not unique okay and where is you, you can where is uh, this uh, is validate function this is the is validate function declare function is valid booking number and if functions if booking number in booking information if that booking number is already existed in the booking information that is array that containing the all the booking number then it will return print booking number is already exist and it will return false in case of false you will have to ask again okay and this is getting from the system date and time else return true in case of true it means this is booking this booking number is unique okay next one is calculate calculate the total price of the journey without any discount and store 
store the journey detail. Total price of the journey without any discount and store the journey detail. Total price. Here I am getting total price. This is a cost one. Cost one means I need this is a price array. Price array need a index. From where it will index? It will index. It will get the index that containing the value in the AHSS. What will be the value in the in the uh, code in the array code? Then it will return what is the index of that value. Suppose this is three. Okay, three index. It means it will calculate the price of third item. Price of third uh, location. Okay, cost one, cost two, and cost three, and it will give me total cost equal to cost one plus cost two plus cost three. Next one is task number three. This is task number three. What are the steps in task three? In task number three, we will calculate the discount or if starting time is after ten, and display the entered information to passenger for confirmation of input details. If the input details are correct, then you proceed. If you are if uh, something is wrong, then you can enter it again. Extend task to extend task two to check the start time of the journey and if it is after 10 and apply 40 percent discount to the total price this is the task number three here i'm calculating the total cost total cost so i will calculate total cost equal to cost plus cost one plus cost two plus cost three that i have calculated from the three journeys and if start time after this i'm checking if start time because i'm going to enter the start time and where is the start time input this is the start time input this is the start time input okay that is stored into the variable start time and i'm going to check if start time greater than equal to 10 then discount equal to total cost multiplied by 40 divided by 100 it will give me discount else discount equal to zero okay here i'm using and if here i will calculate payable amount equal to total cost total cost minus discount that is payable amount you have to pay that one next one is display the total price and booking detail for the passenger to check and allow them to either confirm confirm the detail are correct or start again okay for that purpose this is input for the start time this is input for the home to start station this is input of the start station to end station and this is the input for the first end station to the destination okay and here i i have applied a loop repeat and this loop will move until you will meet this condition okay here i'm display the information to the passenger for the confirmation i'm showing your passenger account number is pass underscore account your passenger account number is second information is about the name sorry your name is you will write name and name is pass underscore name this is the name account number passenger name this is the start time this is the home to start station this is the start station to end station this is the end station to destination okay i'm going to display this information to the passenger passenger will see and will give me an input what is input is it correct all the input details in form of yes and no okay and it will move until input detail equal equal to y or input detail equal equal to small y maybe user will enter small y maybe user will enter capital y and it will move once user will enter yes then it will move next if user will enter something else it will ask again all the information okay it will ask all the again all information and it will display all these information again for your confirmation if you will say yes then it will move if you will say no then it will this loop will continue until you will enter the y or yes small y or capital y okay this is a complete scenario task one this is task one task two and task three student if you will if you like my video please subscribe my channel and uh, i will prepare the implementation in terms of uh, vb and python maybe today or maybe tomorrow okay you will find this information from my channel okay jazakallah khair